Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and today I'm going to be taking you through my top 10 essentials for traveling when it comes to hygiene. And number seven I think will be a very huge shocker to you. So stick around for number seven and the rest of the list and I'll go through them and explain why I travel with them, if they're easy to travel with, how I prevent leakage and things like that. So let's get into it. So the first travel item I have actually is at my boyfriend's apartment right now is the Venus Razor. It's a compact razor. It's made in a little case where you can close it. It's a really, really nice razor that gets closed. It's a close shave. I think it's a five blade razor and it has little moisture strips. But what's nice about it is it has this case that makes it really easy to travel with. That brings me to number two on the list, which is the EOS Shea Butter 24 Hour Moisture Shave Cream in Pomegranate Raspberry. I personally use the vanilla one in my shower, but whenever I'm traveling, this is the only one that I can find. So I just grabbed this one. It's really inexpensive at Target. I think you can also grab it at Walmart. I use this, pair it with that razor, and it's good to go. So the third thing is something that I personally cannot live without, and I just started using them earlier this year, and I have not stopped. I, I haven't gone back. And that is an exfoliating washcloth. The ones that I like to use are from EcoTools, I believe, and I get them at Target. But you can also get them at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, two pack for like $4. So I picked those up as well because my boyfriend, I, I put him onto these because they're um, really long. Like I'll open this one. It's really long and it gets everywhere. Like this is a brand new one. So I'm about to change it out in my shower. So I might as well just go ahead and open it. But yeah, so this is the one that I like to use. It's nice and abrasive. I recommend getting them from TJ Maxx or Marshalls just because you get more bang for your buck, honestly. So the next item on the list is the Dr. Bronner's Costal Soap I use for my first cleanse in the shower. And this is something that I cannot live without. It's number four on the list. It comes in these little bottles for $2.19 plus tax. At Target is where I get them because I usually use the eucalyptus or the rose scented version of this. However, I will pick this Sorry if you can hear that in the background, my cats are fighting. Sophie, Silas, So I'll pick this up and I'll travel with this. Um, it actually lasts me at least 10 to 15 travel days. So that's why I really enjoy this and it's not that expensive. Number five is the Baby Dove. I really enjoy using Baby Dove for my lady parts downstairs. This, this is the fragrance free sensitive care head to toe wash. And what I do is right now there's some micellar water in this, but I have a bunch of these and I'll empty it, clean it out, sanitize it and put some of this in it and then take one of these with me when I'm traveling. One of these would last probably about maybe eight days or so. So that's what I would do in order to not have to take this entire thing. Even though I have traveled with it and it does have an open to close nozzle that allows you to be able to travel with it if you didn't want to, which I have traveled with this, but that's just because I didn't want to put it in one of these and I was going to be gone for a long time. But yeah, I really recommend this. Um, it It's really nice for cleansing and making sure that there's no irritation. So yes, I recommend this. So next I have the Native Body Wash. So this is the Native Body Wash. It's in coconut vanilla. That's the only one that comes in the smaller size anyway, and that happens to be my favorite. I love to use this at nighttime as my third cleanse and final cleanse before I use my Baby Dove for my Lady Pits. This leaves my skin actually smelling like coconut and vanilla, so I really enjoy that aspect of it. I definitely recommend this. I believe it's $2.30 cents or somewhere around that for um, a small bottle like this. It's a three fluid ounce and I'm able to use it for about 10 to maybe 12, 10 to 12 days using it once at night. So yeah, that's why I really enjoy this. I don't have to take a big version of this and there's still quite a bit left from my, my last trip. So I am going to be using this up. And number seven, which is going to surprise you because the reason why I travel with these is they give me the essence of my favorite scents. However, they allow me to have a safe way to travel with them. So that is the Dossier fragrance in any flavor or any scent, not flavor. I have, I believe, eight different scents and I have two new ones on the way and some replacements on the way as well. This happens to be my favorite, the Floral Marshmallow, which is an impression of the Killian Love Don't Be Shy. 
So the reason why I say that you should travel with these scents is because it's going to come in an affordable impression of your favorite scent. There's all kinds of scents on the website. And look at this. It's the magnetic top for me because when I'm traveling, I don't want to think that my top is going to just come off. All of this is going to get all over my clothes, spill everywhere. No, don't want to think about this. This, it just goes right on. It's a magnetic top. It's not going to come off on you. So I just put this where I keep my um, delicates in the top part where you zip it on the inner flap of my suitcase. And I find that it, it's safe there. Like I said, very nice. Number eight is a travel version of the Crest 3D White and Radiant Mint. I love this stuff. I think it actually works. And then I pair that with my Philips Sonicare toothbrush. Yes, so these two I love to take. What I do is I just sit this on the charger for a few days before I'm going to go and I take it with me. I don't take the charger. Sometimes I do if I'm going to be gone for longer than 10 days. But if I'm not going to be gone longer than 10 days, I'll just charge this fully before I leave and I don't have any issues doing that. And like I said, I pair it with one of these. I get these in the travel section at Target and I got this at a Walmart or a Target. I can't remember. I think it, it's the same price at both. So it really doesn't matter where you get it from. But I'll link it down below. They might have it on Amazon. If they have it on Amazon, I'll link it down below. Hopefully it's a little cheaper for you because it is $49.99, I believe, in stores. So yes, I love this toothbrush and the toothpaste. Okay, so number nine is the Degree Deodorant Pure Clean. I love this stuff. I find that it still gets on my clothes, but I can try a spray deodorant, one of you told me in the comments. So I'm going to look into getting a spray version of this or another spray deodorant by another brand. And if I do find one that I like, I'll take you along with me on my next haul at Target, which I have one coming up probably in a couple weeks. There's not too many things that I need right at this moment, but in a couple weeks there will be a few things that I'll need. And I have a move coming up, so I'm going to start the moving series as well. So stay tuned for that. But yes, anyways, this is the degree that I like to use for right now. Until I run out, I have a two-pack that I'm working through. And once I run out of that, I'm going to look into new deodorants. But number nine is just your favorite deodorant. Any deodorant. Travel Essential. Number 10 is the EOS Vanilla Cashmere Lotion. I travel with the entire bottle. Don't care, don't care, don't care. I love this stuff. It smells so amazing. It's moisturizing. A lot of people have been um, saying that they don't find it to be moisturizing to their skin, but I personally find that if I just mix this with a little bit of the Vaseline body gel or even by itself and I just do two pumps per body part. So two pumps each leg, two pumps each arm, and then my torso, my back, and I'm fine. So I don't understand why some people don't find this to be moisturizing, but me personally, I do. So I don't have any issues with this. I love this. I only pair it with something in the winter months. So yeah, I would recommend picking this up. So that concludes the top 10 list, but stay tuned because I have a few bonus items that I think that are worth mentioning that you should bring along with you as well. My first bonus item is going to be the Vaseline Lip Therapy. This stuff is, oh, I just, I love it so much. I use it all day, every day. I reapply it and it just, it really allows my lips to feel nice and moisturized. I don't have any issues with cracking ever since I switched over from Carmex to Vaseline lip therapy, so I definitely swear by it and say that you should go ahead and pick this up, not only for your trip, just for your hygiene in general. Next is going to be a foot brush. I got this one from Max for three bucks, but I definitely think that a foot brush is a nice thing to have. This is my backup foot brush. I have one in my shower now that I use, and I like to take this with me because odor can live anywhere, and you do not want odor on your feet. That is terrible. So if you want to go ahead and get some clean feet and have them looking nice and fresh all the time, use a foot brush. Use a foot brush. And it's not expensive, so you'll be able to pick one of these up. Use it for a month or two. I don't know if it has how long you should keep these. I would say probably change it out maybe once every like two months, maybe a month and a half. And that's what I do. And last honorable bonus mention 
down there wipes. These are some down there wipes that I love. They come in these individual packages or you can get a little package like this that has 20 in a package. I just love them because the rose water scented, I am not a fan of using fragrance, but if I just need to use something after I've gone to the restroom or I'm traveling and I just need to freshen up in between flights and things like that, I like to use things like this. So I recommend picking some of these up at Target. I've only ever seen them at Target. They might have them at Walmart, but I personally have only seen them at Target. So this is my last bonus mention and I think they are worth looking into. So yeah. All right, and that concludes the video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know what your top 10 essentials are or just what your top essential is for traveling. One thing you cannot live without. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of every time I post a video like this one. Don't forget to check this video out if you like the video that you're watching now. Bye!